Hi, how's it going? My name is Luca. I live in Munich in Germany at the moment and technically I'm still a student. I'm officially a student until March, but I'm basically done already. Just to give you some context of my current situation so the video will make more sense. Oh yeah, and I made myself some coffee and we're gonna talk about money now. Mmm, hot! <laughs> Basically this year I want to keep track of my finances more thoroughly. Like I just said, I will be graduating from my master's very soon and I feel like now I should have my life together. At least I want to feel in control of like the financial part of my life. And I don't have a job yet that's related to my degree. I'm like working part-time jobs here and there. But I was thinking that keeping track of my expenses in sort of an Excel spreadsheet would be a good place to start. It's really good to have an overview of where your money comes from and where your money goes to and just become aware of your spending habits in general. General. And to become financially successful, it's really important to be aware of your finances first, in my opinion. My dream at the moment is to have my own place, like my own apartment, where I can design everything just the way I want to. Because I've been living in flat chairs for like so many years now. And I, I, don't get me wrong, I love living with other people, but I also never felt that the place was fully mine. A lot of the times it was furnished already, for example, this room, like none of the furniture is mine. And it would be cool to kind of just do my own thing and like feel super comfortable at home. Maybe it's just because I've been spending so much time at home recently, I don't know, but that's definitely a goal of mine. I think I lost track a little bit here, but let's get back to the topic of the video. I just want to get to a place where I'm financially free and I can just get my own apartment without having to worry about the rent. And the start to that is taking control of my finances and analyzing them and like doing all the statistics so I can hopefully uh, save more money. Obviously then I also have to earn more money but it's a start. So I first identified my four main expenses I guess. First we have the standard expenses that occur pretty much every month. So that's rent and basically all my subscriptions. Then we have groceries. I like to go grocery shopping a lot. Then we have eating out which is all the food and drinks I consume that's not groceries. So that's when I get takeout or go to a bar or restaurant. Oh my god, it's been so long. <laughs> and lastly, we have other expenses. That's basically everything else. You can clearly see from this categorization already that my priority is food at the moment. But food is just, ah, uh, that is, ah. Uh. In the category of standard expenses, obviously rent is the most expensive expense. And to be honest, compared to the average rent prices in Munich, I think I'm pretty lucky. I pay around 350 euros for like my rent, including all bills. I don't live right in the center, but I think I, it's a pretty good connection to the city center. But still, my biggest expense every month is almost always my rent. And I know that I could live in a much better place for cheaper if I wasn't living in Munich. But I really love it here. I don't want to move away. Like all my friends are here and I feel like I'm, I'm just getting used to living here. I don't want to move again. If you want to live in the city, I guess that's the price you have to pay unfortunately. As you can see, we also have my gym membership here that I don't go to anymore. Okay, right now I can't go because of the lockdown, but I'm still paying for it. Like, I'm so stupid. When I was preparing for this video earlier, I already logged into my gym account and like paused my membership for the next month. Because it's closed, it's so stupid. Maybe I'll go again like once the gym's open again, but I probably won't go super regularly because I love running a million times more. And running is for free, so that's nice. Then we have all my other subscriptions, Creative Cloud, Epidemic Sound, Spotify, Audio, well, did I forget anything? Oh yeah, my phone. I pay for the data on my phone. <laughs> but those expenses are all worth it, I guess, because I get a lot of value from them. Like, I use them a lot. So I think we're actually doing pretty good here in this category. It's a total of 430 euros, and I guess that's okay. Next, we have groceries, and I have to say, I went a little bit crazy this month on the grocery front, because, you know, lockdown and all, and I have literally nothing else to do. Grocery shopping is the single most exciting event during my week, usually, and I think I go grocery shopping a lot more than I used to. I used to go to the store and only buy like what I needed for the next couple of days and now I just buy lots of stuff even if I already have enough food at home you just gotta treat yourself let's be real <laughs> but I spent almost 300 euros on groceries which is a new record I think I don't think I've ever spent that much on groceries but okay I'm home all the time I cook a lot so I yeah maybe maybe it's just normal. I also just double checked with my other spreadsheets from like a year ago or two years ago. So I've done this before but never regularly and usually my grocery expenses were between 150 and 200 euros which is a lot less than what I spent this month but also I probably spent more money on eating out or eating at uni so you can't really compare it because I wasn't in lockdown back then. <laughs> I could still probably save a bit more money if I went to like the cheaper supermarkets more often. I try to go there as much as I can but my problem is that I like to combine my grocery shopping with taking a walk and there aren't really any cheap supermarkets within walking distance, so that sucks. Obviously, it's just an excuse, but yeah. <laughs> if I was planning ahead more, I could definitely save some money there, but all in all, I think I'm also 
pretty happy with that. And food just makes me happy, so no regrets there. <laughs> Next up, we have my other food category, which is eating out. Here's a little overview of all the places I got food from. <laughs> yeah, those expenses weren't really necessary. I could have easily just cooked at home for myself instead of like buying 10 euro pizza, for example. But for me, eating out is usually an event that you do with friends together. So actually, none of these eating out expenses I spent by myself, but every time I was with a friend. Now it sounds like I meet friends all the time. Like, no, I meet like two different people. But you know, when you meet each other for your like walking date, oh, so boring, I don't wanna go on walks anymore. <laughs> and then you just get some takeaway food to treat yourself. And I think that's all good, all fair, totally worth it. Like it's nice and it makes me happy, so it's okay. As long as it doesn't escalate and you just only get takeaway, like maybe once or twice per week, it's totally fine in my opinion. Yeah, I always regret buying a cup of coffee at Starbucks though, because it's so damn expensive. But then it's just really convenient when you're out and about and your hands are freezing and you just need some hot cup of coffee. Ah, tough stuff. Last but not least, or actually maybe least, <laughs> we have the category other and it was a bit sad this month. It was very happy for my bank account, but for my social life and like my quality of life, it was just sad. I bought two books this month and they cost around seven euros together. I actually thought about dividing this category further up into like travel and clothes and experiences and whatnot, but that was not necessary, unfortunately, or fortunately, I don't know. I can assure you that this is not normal for me. Normally I spend a bit of money on clothes and traveling, but I did not leave Munich at all this month. And also I didn't buy any clothes because there was no occasion to wear them to and Yes. Maybe in a way it was good because I could save some money, but it was also really sad because I didn't really do any enjoyable activities this month. How did January just end like that? Like, how did this happen? <laughs> Anyways, I really enjoyed doing this spreadsheet because it's a really nice way to visualize your expenses. And it's going to be really cool at the end of the year to make a super cool, maybe a bit nerdy diagram about it and see how my monthly expenses change over time. I think that would be very interesting. It's also a good way to stay on top of your finances and not spend like money on unnecessary things because the fact that you have to write everything down makes you consider like twice if you actually want to buy something or not. And then obviously just having that overview makes me feel a lot more comfortable. I get really anxious when I don't know how much money is in my bank account, how much money I'm free to spend or if I should save it. Having an overview definitely makes me feel less anxious. So in general, you're less likely to waste money on unnecessary things and you become aware of your spending habits more and more and I think that's a good base to have if you want to save money. My biggest problem at the moment with saving money is I think that I don't really have anything to look forward to. I don't have a specific goal that I'm saving up for so it's hard to motivate myself to save money I guess and I'm really good with saving money when I have for example a trip coming up. I know that I'm going to be traveling and I want to enjoy myself on the trip as much as I can so whenever I see something that I want to buy my immediate thought is like no you could stay at a hotel for a three more days with that money don't don't buy that but at the moment everything is super uncertain and who knows when I will be able to travel again so it's a bit hard to motivate myself maybe you have any tips for that feel free to let me know and I hope you really enjoyed the video I think making a spreadsheet like this to keep track of your finances is a very very useful thing so I would definitely recommend it to all of you even if you're not trying to save money it's still fun I think feel free to subscribe if you like my content have a good day bye